Hi there, I'm April Davis, matchmaker and dating coach at LumaSearch.com. As a matchmaker, I talk to people daily about what they're looking for in a match. One of the things I hear people say all the time is they want someone who is confident. Now being confident can come in a lot of different forms and layers, but today I want to talk about the layer of confidence that is derived from being knowledgeable in a wide variety of areas and having several hobbies or skills to be able to derive that confidence from. Being well-rounded and knowledgeable about several different things is a very attractive trait. Knowledge has two different forms, what we can do with our skills and what we know. In order to stand out and attract the most ideal people, it's necessary to have various hobbies or skills and also be knowledgeable. Not only about what's going on in the world, but just knowing a bit about a lot of different things. It's not enough to just be attractive and have a good career. People are looking for that little extra something more that gives them that spark and interest to see you again. Oftentimes people tell me they're looking for someone who has a passion about something. It could be a cause, a hobby, anything. If your only hobbies are watching TV, hanging out with friends, or eating, then you're likely missing out on attracting the kind of person that you really want. Think of those commercials about the Dosa Keys guy, where he's the most interesting man in the world. You want to push yourself towards being that renaissance man or woman. I always say that it's better to be the person that everyone's talking about than talking about everybody else. I'd like to challenge you to take a look at yourself in the mirror. How many skills or hobbies do you really have? Saying you used to do something that you like isn't a hobby anymore, and it doesn't count. Nor does it count if it's only something that you do once or twice a year. Just be curious and go after what you're interested in. Curiosity is a very attractive trait and also something that people tell me that they're looking for in their partner. Now ask yourself, what topics are you interested in? And it could be something that you could learn about. It doesn't matter if it's only something that you could spend maybe an hour doing, or it doesn't relate to anything that you do in your career or ever have done before. For example, I downloaded some books on Audible about blockchain currency because I wanted to learn a little bit about it. The other week, I met with a client whose career has to do with blockchain currencies, and it was very helpful to know what he was talking about, and he was kind of impressed that I had learned a bit. Knowing a bit about various topics will not only expand your mind, but will ultimately make you more unique and compelling to have a conversation with. Part of attraction is being mysterious and your date trying to learn more about you in order to better understand you. The more you keep surprising them with all your knowledge and skills, the more impressive and interesting that you will be. And being interesting is a good look on anyone. A couple of ideas on things that you can do is maybe learning a new language, taking a class such as cooking or dancing, or joining in on some kind of sport, maybe volleyball, kickball, or even yoga. What is something that you can do in order to challenge yourself to grow, which will lead to a new bit of confidence? I'd love to see it in the comment section below. And if you don't know yet, come back in a few days and let us know what you're going to do or maybe have done already. What other questions do you have that I could create a video about? Leave them in the comments below. Did you like this video? If so, subscribe and click the little thumbs up button at the bottom. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to go to lumasearch.com and fill out the profile form so we can find your match. Thanks so much and see you next time.